Okay, now we're moving on to the hair part. Um, as you can see, I haven't done a video with my hair like this before. I'm not sure. I don't think I have one with me in red, like a serious beauty video. Um, but um, I have been trying to take care of my hair because it's gone very dry. I'm not even going to lie, just because I've bleached it and I've colored it at least three times now, different types of red and I've been trying to take care of it and the one thing that really works for me is the L'Oreal Intense Repair the five damages one I have no idea what I'm talking about but it's the red one and I think they phased out the balm that I always always have been using and then I went to SNR and I saw this one it's the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm and you can't you can't find this in a normal grocery stores I only found it in SNR and I tried it and it is the same thing it smells different and it looks different but it is absolutely the same thing so I got a backup of that one I have another one in my shower I also got the Dove Advanced Hair Series Pure Care Dry Oil. I have the O2 one in my bathroom. So this is everything that I'm showing you right now is from SNR. So it's the non-greasy shampoo. It smells really good as well. It kind of smells nutty, but in like a really good cashmere kind of way. So the next thing that I got from SNR is the L'Oreal Oleo Therapy. Is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. Um, this is the sulfate-free um, system. This one you can find in the grocery stores. So I wanted to compare this one with the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. But I feel like I'm going to like this, but um, I still wanted to try it out. Um, it is oil infused and it is a conditioner. So it's not a balm. So I feel like balms um, work better for my hair just because it's intense. Um, and conditioners are a little bit lighter that you use for every day. But this is also for dull, dry, or damaged um, hair. So I'm excited to use that one. In the same sense, I got the Total Repair 5 Multi um, Restorative Dry Oil. And I've been using this a lot. It smells amazing. And it just makes my hair really shiny. And um, it helps with my split in. It just helps uh, make my hair look healthy. Even though it's not healthy. If you see my hair in person, you're just going to be like, it looks really dry. But with this... It just helps it a lot and you just spray it on. I spray it on um, as much as I can or every time I want to. And it just smells really good. It smells like the salon, so I like this one a lot as well. And then, this isn't a hair product, but I got this from um, SNR as well. It's the Johnson's Baby Oil Gel in Shea and Cocoa Butter. And <laughs> this is so amazingly good. I'm obsessed with this one just because I feel like it locks in the moisture so much and it makes my legs look super shiny. Um, this one is the Shea and Cocoa Butter one, I think I mentioned that. But they also have the Aloe Vera one, which I have seen in the grocery store. So maybe we have this in the grocery stores as well. So the last hair product that I wanted to show you is not something that I bought from SNR, um, but I, my friend Patrice and I bought this in Watson's. It was buy one, take one. And she said her mom uses it and um, it smells really good. And this one is the Daily Defense Salon Inspired Hair Care and it's with keratin. It is the conditioner and it smells, it smells really good as well. I can't explain what it smells like. It just smells really good, you guys should try it out. They have different variants as well. I think they have um, not just the keratin one, just, I forgot, like Moroccan oil. I think they have that one as well, but this one is the keratin one. Excited to use it. So the last two things that I wanted to show you guys are from the body shop. I'm obsessed. With a body shop. I am obsessed with a body shop. And the first one that I got is the Body Shop Chamomile one. And it's the Erasing Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. I love this. I've been so intrigued by this for the longest time, but I couldn't find it in me to buy it just because it was expensive. Um, but since it was like 70% off, I got it and I have no regrets. It is amazing with removing makeup. I just use it all over my face and just remove it and remove my makeup and it works really, really well. The other one that I got is the Honey Bronze um, Shimmering Dry Oil and this one is a number one honey kiss. It makes my legs look super tan and amazing and sparkly. It's just, I've been wanting to get this for so long just because a lot of bloggers, other bloggers and beauty YouTubers have been talking about this and I finally got it. Yay! Okay, so that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it wasn't that long for you guys, but if you stuck through it, thank you very much. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for so long, so um, I hope to get back into the grind of things and I hope you guys 
subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, I will put everything that I can down below, all the descriptions, all the products that I did mention, I will put it down below. Um, I won't be able to put the prices because I don't remember them. This has been an accumulated haul. Um, but if I do remember, I will put it down there. But again, everything will be down below. All the pages that I mentioned will be down below. So thank you again very much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All the links will be down below as well. So I missed you guys. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Okay, so now let's move on to the MAC lipsticks that I've recently bought. Um, I bought more than these, but these are the ones that I've been buying recently. So the first one that I have is Brave. It is a satin finish and it is just a pink.